Bodie! Bodie! So, Blockhead, your challenge today is to transform five bedrooms of this iconic Dalesford homestead and turn it into a stays worthy holiday home. Judging you today on your painting prowess and, of course, your styling is one very fetching interior designer and design writer, mm -hmm. along with quite a studly builder. They are the kings of style and block winners. Put your hands together for Simon and Shannon. Yay! 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 1.9 million's on the right-hand side. Back in 2014, these beach-loving brothers took out the top spot on the block glass house. So, congratulations. Yeah. What have you been up to? I've been writing for Inside Out magazine, which is good because I get to write about the block, I get to write about interiors. Um, I'm designing a lot, shot a few crazy ads. You had a kid. Bought a house, had a kid. Wow. You know. And what about you, champion? Mate, I've been just surfing and practicing my golf. <laughs> <laughs> Still a knuckle. <laughs> Well, it's good to see you back, boys, and I let me tell you that you have got a very tough job today. We do. It's going to be tough, but to help you out, to tell you what it's actually going to take for you to create a stays-worthy bedroom, I'd now like to introduce Amy from Stays. Amy, come on out. Yay! Hello. Hello. Hi. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. Great to have you here. Amy, your top tips for creating a home worthy of being on stays. So it's all about creating a home away from home, guys. It's all your creature comforts, big comfy beds, lots of fresh linen, and you also want to create a bit of a sanctuary in the bedroom. Sometimes you want a bit of a time out, so you want to make sure that you can read your book in there, even do some yoga if you feel like it. Well, thanks, Amy. That sounds like a piece of cake, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Easy. <laughs> School teacher Ben's become the student, taking painting tips from Shannon. What are you thinking? I'd put a bit of um, go for a bit of lake blue. Oh, a, bit a, of smidge, bit of, a smidge of lake water. You're bringing the, the outside inside. Go on. Yeah, as long as you don't come with me, because you push me in. No, I won't push you in. I'll push you. <laughs> go on. A bit of lake water. <laughs> Just a tiny bit. Lake water. <laughs> <laughs> The room came together really nice. It's really warm, it's inviting. Uh, part of the brief was a home away from home, so we wanted to keep that. I would totally stay in our room. Yeah. It stays the bejesus out of it. Now it's time to see what our guest judges, Shannon and Simon, and Amy from Stays make of our Blockheads rooms. Wow. wow. Welcome to our boudoir. Wow. It's lovely. I'll tell you what, what I love. I love, A, the bed. It looks comfy, I want to jump in there, not with everyone here. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> you know, it, it looks like it's, it's an inviting room and I yep. love the relationship between the painting. Really, awesome. really nice. Over cater, I always say. So some people mm. like two pillows, some people like four. You've got yeah. everyone covered. Yeah, yes, awesome. yes. <laughs> You've done really, really well. I love, love that you're walking in here, there's an ambience, it smells nice, it feels yeah, awesome. nice. I do feel like there's a pendant lacking Yes, in here. there is. The only thing that we did miss is that we left the pendant similar to this at Freedom on the Beach. Next, our judges head upstairs to Carly and Will. Hello, Hello guys. How are you? Hello. Oh, this is a transformation, isn't it? Mm. Oh, damn, oh, damn, oh, damn. I'm so perplexed with just one breath I'm locked in. You've done a great job answering the brief and definitely home away from home and people like to be able to clean up quickly and you know head out to whatever they're doing so yeah love what you've done in terms of making sure there's shelves and, and drawers just so you can pop stuff away. You've done a good job. Awesome. Unique. Thank you. I don't think there was any negatives that they pointed out so. Hopefully that's a positive. Yeah. The room is one of those things, we've gone very simple, minimalistic, so mm. they'll either love it or hate it. The boys. G'day, g'day. How, How are, are we? Good to see you again. Gents. How are you? Good, good. G'day, g'day. Zoe. How g'day. are you? G'day, g'day. How are you? Boys, it's Amy. Bad start. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I think I met a Zoe today. That's <laughs> where the confusion <laughs> came from. Please don't judge And me, Michael and Stephen, is it? Yeah, yeah that'll Michael, Michael, Michael do it. Michael do it. Michael, yeah, yeah. Michael's doing it. Oh, wow, not the best start, is it? <laughs> I like the way you've, you've, yeah. you've tied in your um, sort of geometric print artwork with, the, with your bedspread. 
and the touches of brass are nice. Yeah. I feel maybe the bed's lacking in a little bit of texture, or a bit of, you know, there's a few pillows missing. Great job on the really big, comfy bed, and there's definitely a uniqueness to the room that I think that a guest would really feel inspired by. It's definitely a retreat I'd like to come to. Make it rain, baby, make it rain! Awesome. The girls are hoping the judges won't rain on their room. Girls. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? Good, how are you? Wow. Hi. Wow. On. I like this. <laughs> this is different. Yeah? In a good way. Good. Mm. It's definitely a soft room. Yes. It feels, it feels relaxed, it feels inviting, it feels warm. It's so, got a really nice romantic feel though. And, and a big thing for us is, yeah. is a retreat. So making sure that the bedroom's somewhere that you can retreat to. Good job. Yeah. Thanks guys. Hey. Thanks job. for stopping by. Thank you. Good luck. We've got one more to go. They're a lot kinder than the other judges. Yeah. <laughs> oh, try again. That's because you don't know how to fight. No, you, but you don't. You do it in the middle. But why are you slapping it like it? it uh, no. You're not slapping it like it's. No, but you got to slap the middle like that. Look at you all stiff like that. <laughs> it's just relaxed. I think the room came together pretty well, actually. I really um like the room. It's, mm. it's different. Um, has a very chilled out but modern country, bit of bit of everything sort of relaxed feel. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh. Hello. Hi. Wow. How are you? Good. Good. How's that painting? It does stand out a little bit. <laughs> with the, <laughs> with, with yep. the tone, you know, some softer tones, but still it makes a point that you come to stays, have a look around, yeah. wander down the road. Okay. There's the boathouse. Mm -hmm. So it ties things in with the vicinity. Is this What's happening here? Stand it. If you've got a pup, you can bring it in. Pet friendly, big thing for us. Well yeah. done, guys. Yeah. Definitely opening yourself up to lots more guests and mm. looks mm. beautiful, matches with the rest of your yeah. aesthetic. There's a lot of hits, mm. a few misses. I love the low bed. Mm. It makes the room feel, yeah. feel big. I love your lighting. Mm. It's very eclectic and it's very different and I think that's important. Yep. I think I think the um, the artwork. You had a good start there. You, very yeah. good. I hit it. It's some, personal. Some, yeah, it's, it's personal. personal. It's, it's art, you know. Yeah. It's all subjective, so, yeah. It certainly is, and the objective now is to reveal the winner. Now, let me remind you what you are playing for today. A whopping $10,000 cash from our mates at Stays. But, of course, the winner today has to decide how much of that ten grand to give to second and third place. But well, first, let's decide who has created the most stays-worthy bedroom. And for that, it's over to Simon, Shannon and Amy. Who we got? Who we got? <laughs> um, so we do have a first prize. Will and Carly. Yeah! We won! Yeah! Come on, <laughs> <laughs> I just made my day. <laughs> <laughs>